Ciao, long day and we need a very quick and easy dinner. So I decided to do pasta alla zozzona. Pasta alla zozzona is a distant cousin of uh, carbonara. It's not as elegant as carbonara, but uh, nevertheless, just as delicious. Just a few ingredients. Uh, pancetta, you can also use guanciale. In offenness, uh, the zozzona is from Rome and guanciale is typical of uh, the, the pasta, but I'm gonna be using pancetta, which is uh, very, very close. You can also use uh, bacon, but if you were to use bacon, I would avoid using smoked bacon, use the unsmoked one, as it's closer in terms of taste. Eggs, I will be using some eggs. These are very, very fresh, so recommend use fresh eggs. I chopped an onion, a little wine here, some uh, cheese. Again, I should be using pecorino, but I don't have any. <laughs> and uh, I will be using parmigiano. Again, it's not uh, too bad, but uh, if you want to use pecorino, it's uh, the ideal cheese to use but that's fine as well. Plum tomatoes and this pasta here. This is uh, called uh, Gigantoni and uh, again uh, back from Sicily <laughs> showing off uh, the pasta. Uh, yesterday I cooked uh, trecce uh, with my uh, asparagus pasta and I brought some uh, Gigantoni. It's like a massive big uh, rigatoni. If I didn't have the Gigantone I would have used rigatoni. However this is uh, Gigantoni means a uh, big giant. You can see why. <laughs> very very quick I'll uh, make a start and I'll show you how to do it. So a generous amount of olive oil in a frying pan and uh, put in uh, your onions when the, the oil is cold. As soon as the onions start sizzling uh, after a couple of minutes I will be adding my pancetta. This is 160 grams I'm cooking for three people today. Immediately followed by some dried white wine just a little most probably this is a quarter of a glass some salt, some pepper. My water is boiling, I've already salted it and I'm going to add my gigantoni. And as I mentioned before, as soon as you put your pasta in, give it a quick mix. In the meantime, the alcohol from the wine has evaporated and I'm going to be adding some plum tomatoes. Ensure that uh, the tomatoes are crushed nicely with a spoon or a fork, whatever you might be using. And let it cook on a medium heat while the pasta is cooking at the same time, so they should be ready pretty much at the same time. In the meantime, I'll get the eggs ready. So one egg per person, three people eating. Let's see a bigger one. There you go. And I'm going to separate the yolk from the white. I will be using the yolk for this recipe to give uh, the pasta a lovely creamy finish but I will be using the white tomorrow as I'm making a new tiramisu, you'll have to wait for that. So my pasta is ready and I'm not going to be adding it to the sauce. This pasta looks really nice. Mm. And the advantage is that it's very easy to fish out. <laughs> Man, each piece is most probably a meal. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's all gone. So I'll um, give this a, a good uh, 30 seconds to a minute to ensure that uh, the pasta absorbs some of the flavor from uh, the rest of the ingredients first. And literally after a minute I will be adding my egg yolks. And I'll mix it for another 30 seconds to ensure that uh, the egg cooks properly and uh, releases a lovely cream that uh, blends everything together. Get a seal of approval from Julie. Mm -hmm. it smells good. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I am ravenous, so I'll eat anything in this pan. It does smell good. Back on my worktop, and uh, a compulsory drop of olive oil. Even more compulsory. Amazon oh, you cheese. have to, you have to definitely put some cheese on this one. And uh, again, uh, this is a, a Roman uh, recipe, and uh, they would use pecorino, but uh, you can also use parmesan. And uh, I could not find any pecorino today, so I'm setting for parmesan. And uh, one final mix. Oh, it mm. smells good. <laughs> Amazingly good. Yeah. <laughs> And also, it sounds good. Can you hear it? <laughs> it's got a sloppy sound about it. Mm. 
it looks really stunningly beautiful. Now, the ingredients are good, <laughs> the ingredients are fresh and it smells delicious so why should not taste lovely but we will give it uh, a go. A single piece of pasta is a meal <laughs> almost by itself. <laughs> Mm. That's really nice. Really delicious. Definitely worthwhile trying. Especially if you can go a lot of time and you want something nice and easy, quick and delicious. <laughs> ciao ciao. Thank you for watching.